Hi and welcome to tutorial 56 in this series of tutorials and programs designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language. This uh, program, or rather this tutorial 56, I'm developing using the new TradeStation 9 and uh, of course we now have a separate uh, chart window and development window but uh, what the program is going to do today is essentially look and see where the turning points or the pivots are for a specific day and then plot those uh, times those bars the next day so uh, for example you can see here we've got a, a dot on the 0, 0300 bar and that is on the uh, 5th of January if we go back to the 4th of January we should see and then we have it a, a pivot at the uh, the 3 o'clock bar and similarly here we've got a dot on the the 0215 bar if we go to the pre to the next uh, to the earlier day which would be the third I believe then we should see a pivot on the 215 bar and there we have it so uh, so this is what we, we're going to do and uh, we're going to do it by creating a couple of arrays and then swapping between the arrays each each day so we collect in one array then plot using that array and then collect using the other array and plot uh, using that array the next day and so forth so it, it can get a little confusing but what I'm going to do is just go through it line by line and then hopefully uh, it will make some sense so uh, first of all we're going to set up our variables and uh, you'll notice several changes here if you've not uh, moved from 8.7 uh, to 8.8 .8 or 9 in the the way that the screen is set up and some of the help that uh, appears automatically. What I'm going to do is just set up initially a couple of uh, variables that we're going to use as the uh, indexes for the array and we're going to be using the uh, the pivot function so I'm just going to set up O pivot price L. I'm going to set that to zero and O pivot bar L. That's going to make that zero as well. And uh, we're going to use this thing called array index. And this is that this is going to count up as we go along. Every time we uh, add a new entry to the array, and then we will use that to essentially put the values in the array at that index uh, position and then this thing here use one or two is a variable which is going to determine that the um, array that we are storing things to and the array that we're referencing in terms of drawing or rather plotting the uh, the dots on the chart and then we're going to set up two arrays and uh, the first one we're going to call prev piv times one and we're going to make it 10 a size of 10 which actually means 11 but we're in this program we're just going to store values in up to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we're not going to be using the zero position and we're going to put in a, a default value of minus one now, I've used minus one here because if we put in zero zero is actually a time and uh, we don't want to get confused by that and then the other um, array here is just going to be called p pre piv times 2. Again I'm going to make it a size of 10 and we're going to set the initial values in it to minus 1. So they uh, th that's the uh, the variables and the arrays set up. So what we want to do is uh, clear the the array, a specific array at the start of the day. Now this becomes a little bit complicated because if we go back to the chart we are storing the values for a particular day and if you think about the beginning of the day which is uh, this bar here the zero bar then in order to if, if to, in order to discover whether that is a pivot we actually need these three bars so we can't really start storing the new values for that day until we get to the um, 
the in this case the 0 45 bar and by the way we're going to be calculating the pivots with a right strength of 3 and a left strength of 3 so what we have to do is we say if date four bars ago is different from date three bars ago then begin and because as I mentioned we're going to be alternating between the two different arrays we're going to say here if use one or two equals one then use one or two equals two else use one or two equals one which uh, sounds rather strange but uh, essentially what we're doing is every day we're going to change use one or two from one to two and then back to one and one two one two one two so they will go from one to the other having done that we're now going to do a, a four statement we're going to say 4x equals 1 to 10 begin and what we're going to do here is we're going to go through the array and we're going to set the reset the values to minus 1 just to basically delete them now we've got two arrays so we need to somehow determine which of the two we're going to be doing this to so this is where or one of the places where we use the uh, use 1 or 2 so if use one or two equals one then prev piv times one square brackets x that is the uh, the index for the the array in other words we're going to go through x one to ten so first of all it'll look at the the one entry then the two entry then the three entry then the four entry etc equals minus one so just resetting it to minus one else and uh, here we're going to put in prev piv times 2 with the uh, the same index x which as I say goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 equals minus 1 uh, semicolon and I'm going to say end <clears throat> The other thing that we're going to do at the beginning of the day, well, it's not really the beginning of the day, but it's the beginning of the day because we have to take into account the uh, the right strength of the pivot, is to reset the array index to 1. Having done that, we can press end. And what I'm going to do is just press F3, or you can click the little, uh, the little green tick. Just make sure we've not made any mistakes there. Okay, um, it's looking like we've got a error there somewhere. Let's have a look. Prev piv times one x. Let's just have a look. See if we've got something wrong with that. Okay, what I've done here, you see, I press the instead of then. So if I press F3 again we should be good okay so what we've done so far is just cleared the arrays at the start of the day now the other thing we have to do is look for pivots and as I say we're going to do that using simply using the uh, the pivot function that comes with TradeStation and we're just going to be looking at uh, low pivots in this uh, program and I'm going to hard code the, uh, the, the, the look back and the the right and left left strengths one means the most most recent minus one means a low pivot and then we're going to store into these because this is a multi um, a, a function that returns multiple values the values are returned here within the pivot the um, the function itself and uh, so that's looking for pivots and if, you, if you're unfamiliar with this if you right click it and then say definition of pivot you'll see some information about that Okay, so we've now uh, got to the point where we've cleared the the, uh, the array, and we're looking for pivots. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to um, store when we find a pivot. We're going to store the the value in the array. So I'm going to say if value one equals one, which means that uh, we found 
a pivot looking back four bars then begin and what I've done here is just to uh, indicate where the pivots are we're just going to simply draw a little uh, text symbol on the chart uh, just so we can see where the, the pivot is occurring just for reference and we know that it's going to be three bars ago so it's date three bars ago, time three bars ago uh, we'll draw it on the low three bars ago and we're just going to draw maybe an asterisk so put that like so. So that's going to draw the uh, little symbol where the pivot occurs. And what we're also going to do is store it in the array. So we're going to say you if use one or two equals one and array index is less than or equal to 10. Now of course on a particular day you may have more than 10 pivots you can increase that uh, that value there 10 but you'd have to increase the size of the arrays as well and uh, if you don't do that you're going to get uh, or it'll try and store values in a part of the array that doesn't exist and you'll get an error so we're going to what we're going to do is store the newly found value in the array defined by array index and what we're going to do in a moment is we're going to increment array index every time we uh, we find an array okay and we're going to say else if and then we're just going to put in use one or two equals two um, and array index is less than or equal to 10 then and it's similar syntax but it's going to be two so I'm just going to copy that Control C, Control V. I'm just going to change that to to two, and uh, I think that's all we need to do there. Apart from we need to increment the array index. So the next time we find a new pivot, we put it in the uh, the next slot in the array. So we say array index equals array index plus one like so and we're going to say end okay okay to summarize so far so what we've done is at the beginning of the day we're clearing the appropriate array we are looking for pivots and when we find a pivot we're storing it in the appropriate array so what we now need to do is display those dots on the chart and this is where it's a little bit more uh, tricky because what happens is we want to um, use a particular array but the array that is still storing the values for the previous day is still in operation at the beginning of the day so we have to use a little um, a little technique here that I'm just going to show you and what we're going to say is if use one or two equals one and date is equal to the date four bars ago in other words um, if we look at the chart uh, any bar where the date four bars ago one two three four is the same then we're using this particular one particular um, array I'm gonna put that in brackets or uh, use use one or use one or two is equal to two and we're at the very beginning of the day <coughs> which which we uh, we discover by saying is not equal to the date four bars ago so again if we uh, we briefly look at the chart and look at the start of a day for example here four bars ago would be uh, starting with um, for example this bar here 45 one bar ago is there one bar ago is there one bar ago is there all the same date but then the fourth bar is a different date so for those first bars of the day we're going to use uh, we're going to also use 
the uh, the same array even if the use one or two is equal to two. So then if t equals brief piv times two square brackets y then and what we're just going to do is just plot plot one uh, we'll do it on the L um, let's give it a name something like piv one and we'll make it uh, let's make it green this time just for the fun of it and uh, similarly we're going to do the same thing for the other array so in fact what I'm going to do is just copy this and then just change the values in it just to save a little bit of time except this time it's going to be if use one or two equals two and uh, the date is the same as the date four bars ago or use one or two is one and the date is not the same as the uh, the date four bars ago then we're going to use the other array that we've created which is uh, pre pivot times one y and then we're going to plot two and uh, just change the name let's make this one red this time and then we just need because we're doing a four begin end we need to put in the end and we should have it. So what I'm going to do is press F3 see if we made any errors and we have again. So I'm going to close that and hopefully it will show us what we've done. Okay it looks like it's uh, expecting something else at the end of the day. Okay just go up there and we'll see that uh, what we've done here we've spelled use one or two incorrectly. I'm just going to press F3 again spelt array index incorrectly. You're going to press F3 again. Um, okay, it looks like we're good. So let's have a look at the chart and I've already applied this I believe to the chart. So let's go uh, format analysis techniques and uh, I'm just going to turn B off and uh, we'll see if we get C and I uh, can see some some dots appearing there. I think what I'm going to do is just move the dots down a little bit so we can see them a little better. So I'm just going to make that L minus 1 and L minus 1 and F3. Let's go back to the chart so we can see them now. Let's just go through and uh, do a few checks to make sure it's working correctly. So we've got a dot there at 215 and if we look the previous day see if we've got a pivot point there at 215 we do um, so we'll look at this one here we've got one at 1830 so let's go back and see 1830 the previous day okay 1830 and there we have this is just a, a relatively simple example uh, please if you're not on our email mailing list then go to markplex.com and join uh, also if you spot any uh, errors or bugs in any of these tutorials then please uh, please let me know I would be uh, be most grateful for that and uh, thank you very much for your attention